Hi friends, today we are going to show you how we can add a custom field to a standard table. So the standard table I'm considering is EKKO, which is purchase order header. So the first thing we have to do when you create a custom field, first we have to create a domain. Okay. So it's always good when you're creating custom fields to create your own domain, domain and then your data element and so on. So for that, you what you want to do is you want to select an existing domain. Okay, so what you can do is suppose I have this domain EBLN, which is purchase document number. Okay, so it's always easy to copy something. Okay, and we will change it accordingly. So here I'll change it to C something I'll give, um, and I will say um, GR. So the field will tell me whether the PO has um, has open quantity, okay? As open quantity means the total uh, PO quantity minus the total invoice <coughs> invoice is more than zero, okay? So that, that means total or they can be, there is some stuff open for GR or something, okay? So here I can say just open, uh, open or it can be a flag. So here I'll just create, okay, that means this, and I'll just give local object, just for the heck. So I have created my domain, I'll go now and change it. And I will say maintaining original language, okay. Okay, so let me change it, I'll put it in the, uh, this is the original language. And here I will change it to, um, change the description. So here I will say flag for, open and here I will make the character as one okay I'll put length one this <coughs> this stuff I will just remove because this came from the other side and he was here I'll give a fixed value x means open one open view and blank is okay close here I make this active once I activate it this is the domain I have already created this is good for me now what I'm going to do is I'll copy this domain name and I'll create a data element. okay first you create the domain the then the data element. so here I'll just create another data element and here I will mention data element and here I will put the domain and I'll say Flag for open view. Once I do this, okay, and here for the characteristic field name, here I have to give some description to <coughs> open PO. I think you have to just OP, and then here I will say five open, and then ten. I'll just give some name. This is the description for the field label. Okay, and 20. Okay. Open. Is, uh, okay. I hope I'm not exceeding. So, here. Let's see. Now, this is active. Good. <clears throat> Our main job of creating the domain and data element has been done. Now, I go to SC11. I go to S11 and here I put EKKO and when we change something in EKKO the corresponding there are lots of structures and other stuff also gets changed. So we will see now here I will do append structure and here I will create a new structure for me. Okay. So always create new stuff unless there is a custom stuff already built. Okay. This is the naming convention have in this system that's why I'm adding so custom just for the head you can give any description okay. so here I did it so you do not have authorization <coughs> so here I don't have authorization but basically what I could have shown you that let me if I don't have authorization let me see whether I have authorization to change something so here if you notice this is the include structure <clears throat> Let me see whether I can change. Uh, I can add, so I don't have currently. 
Okay, this is editing this. So what I'm going to do is I don't have authorization. I'll go here and I'll click app and structure. And it will give me the same problem. Yes, yeah, so wait, so I'll put it in food structure and <clears throat> app and structure. Yes, yeah, so <clears throat> so I don't have authorization, but the process is pretty simple. You create an app and structure and then add a new fields and then you can do. It. So you can see that there's you need special authorization to do these changes okay so here you can see let me see i cannot happen structure here and what i can do is i have display mode that's good and so if i go here kko data and if i scroll down page down and i try to do happen structure here and I try to, to create. I can name this. Okay, probably. No, it's, it doesn't allow. So here you can see. <coughs> so again, very simple. You have to create the domain and then the data element. And then if you do an append structure provided, you have authorization. You can add a new field in the standard table, which will further follow to the other structure. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a